Welcome back to Operation Pixel. Did I poke you? Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. Um, put the pencil right here. <laughs> because uh, I'm famous for losing a pencil. So we found out between episodes here that the trick was to kill the, all the mountain enemies in the room. Oh, we... you didn't You didn't leave. I thought you were going to leave and do it. Nah, screw it. I don't okay. want to fight all the wall masters. Last time I tried fighting the wall master, someone distracted me for two seconds. Dude, the wall and I got masters thrown are out. freaking easy, dude. Yeah, they're really not that bad in this one. Like, in the, in the Ocarina of Time, they're just like... Bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, they're... Death. They're pretty bad. Not, well, it's not death, but... Well, bringing to the beginning it's, of the dungeon. It's, it's really that. inconvenient. You keep, like, swinging your sword when they're, like, throwing the boomerangs, dude. That's true. Time it. Look, man, Yeah, I'm, and boomerang it, dude. I'm boomerang more... the shit out of those guys. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, like, you just gotta remember, this boomerang is, like, rock solid. Alright. So I think the boomerang in the original is amazing. Okay, here we go. Five. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you... Oh, it's just this guy again. Could you imagine what, like, Miyamoto thought of this? I, I guess he's, like, shooting a lot faster than he was before. Maybe. There you go! Arrows work well. Hooray! Aren't you glad you got arrows? Yeah, a little bit. And then have to run up and like poke him in the face. Yep. Bump in the bum. I mean, I think I still would have been Bump fine, bum. honestly. Bump Those guys, like five enemies and four freaking turrets just blasting every which way. Well, you know we're five. You know, you know where nine is now. Um, we have seen nine, but we need to do eight. Oh, I know where eight is. Go to level two. Uh, I can do that. I, I guess, yeah, I could do that. See, I'm, I'm trying to remember where 9 was. 9, <laughs> wa nine was... Oops. Yeah, 9 was in the, the very top. You, you blew up one of... Oh, you missed it! Get out of the way and yeah, dodged it. I don't think it. you can do it again. Oh you gotta, my you god. Don't do it in this one. Yep. Um, 9 was... Uh, Remember the, the two rocks? I'm like, hey, bomb that wall! And you're like, oh, I don't know. I think we tried it before. Right, right, okay. I remember. It's up in the mountains. This is level this two. Actually, uh, yeah, it actually might be. Oh, is this level two? Yeah, it's level two. Oh, okay, cool. Um. Oh, no! Crap. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna dodge it. Thought I had the boomerang. The rang. Rangy, rang, rang. Airball's favorite Wait, rang. Lost... Alright, go down. Down, 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 down. Keep going. Down, 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 down. Block that arrow. There it is. There it is. Level 8. Man, we're cooking. Oh, we're we're rocking, dude. We're going to finish two two levels in, in one episode. Not going to happen. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, nice! Nailed it. Man, I'm so good at video games from time to time. Here and there. Everywhere. Everyone gets lucky once in a while. You know what? I think this is the one that I thought you were talking about, where you... The, the, the blurp blurp nights. The dark nuts. Yeah. Because I thought this is the level you are talking about, because I think you have to fight like nine of them in one, in one oh, thing God. before you can even move an arrow. Oh, wow. I just one hit that red one. That's so cool. Careful. God. Careful, 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 careful. Getting hit by those guys sucks yeah, so they much. Yeah, they suck, they do. They, I mean, it's like it doesn't hurt you, but right? Yeah. It's just really inconvenient. And they move pretty much at random, it seems. Yeah, they don't really have a set path. They just sort of do whatever they want. Sometimes they go straight, sometimes they turn. Sometimes it looks like they're heat-seeking. So, um, another, another oh, thought hey. popped into my head. I found a thing already. You found the Bible. I found the Bible? Yeah. See, there's a cross on it and everything. It does look a little bit like a cross. I had a, uh, uh thought again the other day. What does the Bible do? Oh, it's just another. How much, um, it. how much do you know about Schrodinger? Uh, I you, know, you, you I know your... about his cat. Yeah, right? I don't know much about Schrodinger besides his cat. Do you know about, like, the whole concept of what he did? Um, I don't know what he did, but I know the 
exactly what Schrodinger's cat is. Is that you? Yeah, my phone's vibrating, and I'm oh. ignoring it because I'm running a show right now. Well, I mean, I thought that was me for a minute. I'm like, no, mine, mine doesn't sound by your butt, dude. Mine's <laughs> over here. Now it's in my pocket. Um. But yeah, uh, like Schrodinger. I know about it because it's like spoofed in like popular culture and stuff. Uh huh. But I never like realized like what he did until I, you know, took it took initiative and looked it up and everything. Yeah, got curious and googled it. Dude, he's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like like the whole thing about like his his mentality was like a state of being is completely fake unless something is incorporated to disrupt that. So basically, he threw he put a cat in a box with radioactive material and um, and a, and poison. So the cat would die. I'm pretty sure he did not do that. And and I'm pretty sure that's the hypothetical situation of Schrodinger's cat. It's a written up, just kind of like idea, concept. Well, then, then but not something he actually did. Then Wikipedia lied. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. That just always been my assumption. But but ba the, the the whole like basis of his mentality was something is in a state of either alive or dead, and until you break like the wall of knowing for a fact, mm -hmm. it's like steadfast like like it's it's in a state of who knows what's going on and until you break that wall and find out for sure it's a uh it's it then then yeah it's it's dead like is it alive if you open the box it's not dead well the thing the idea was that uh it's sort of a parallel reality kind of concept i know but where... i mean like when did you did that in, like the 1930s dude yeah that I... was like messed up like and i think I think the reason it was Schrodinger's cat is because it was kind of an easy way to grasp it, whether something's alive or dead. But he killed a cat! I really don't think he did. Um, the idea, again, is like... I mean, it's almost like, say, uh, I flip a coin, right? And I'm gonna put that coin into a box. This is the one I thought you were having trouble on. Actually, no, not this one, the next one. Go ahead. Uh, so I flip a coin, and let's say I put that coin into a box. And then or I you tell just, you... You just flip it and cover it with your hand and, you're and like, then what is it? Yeah. And then, um... I think these guys might die if I whistle at them. Which ones? I don't know. Paul's voice. Uh oh. Um... And so, basically, Schrodinger's cat is... state. The statement is that, uh... Until I've opened my hands, there is a significant possibility that that coin could either be heads or tails. Like, both of those realities exist. And we only know which reality we're in uh, once we've opened the box. And you've seen which side is up. So like that Futurama episode where they flipped the cat coin and heads or tails and like in the parallel reality it was the opposite? Yeah, sort of. Um, Still, that just seems like crazy person thought though. Yeah. Well, you know, it's sort of interesting philosophically. And as far as I know... Like, I didn't Google it. I didn't check the Wikipedia article. Um, my understanding is that the Schrodinger's cat is just, like... Because it's, like... You know, it's a lot more striking to say a cat is dead or alive in a box than, say, this coin is heads or tails. Like, you remember a dead cat. <clears throat> you don't really remember a coin flip. <laughs> so... I don't know. It could be a pretty, uh, pretty impressive coin flip. I mean, maybe. Maybe it's a really nice coin. Um, They're, like, Super Bowl coin flip. Oh, dude, that's like the best thing! Yep. Now you can block those fireballs with the shield. Yeah, if uh, yeah, I'm like, feeling bold like enough when, to turn when I, uh, them. When I looked him up, I'm like, dude, this guy, like, I, I know he was in, like, the 30s, but, I mean, nowadays he would be like, dude, you are messed up! Yeah, if you actually, if he actually killed the cat, that's pretty messed up. Um, I won't try to defend him at that point. As it is, I'm bad or not. He's, uh, remember you can block the fireballs. Just trying to stay mostly lined up with this guy. There we go. And he was the blue one, so he was harder, not the red one. Yep. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba 
Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. Maybe that's that's about level the next nine. Dungeon. That's yeah. level nine. Um. Also, I hear the boss. Guessing I can't get to there from the old man's room. You can room. get. You can. You can bomb those walls. Yeah, but I don't think it would work. I mean, you can bomb the walls. Yeah, but I only have two bombs. Who built this like dungeon, like fully like steel integrated? I mean, yeah. I mean, you you're uh, you lose enough life, like you lose half the music. <laughs> oh, um, did you hear? Uh, James Earl Jones is returning as his uh, voice role as Mufasa in the new live action Lion King. Uh, I did not know there was a new live action Lion King. And no, I did not know that he did Mufasa or that he was reprising his role. Really? I'm really out of the loop, man. No, seriously though? Like... Like, I didn't know who James Earl Jones was. For like... What I knew about him is that he was Darth Vader. I didn't know what he looked like. And then eventually you showed me uh, Sandlot or something like that. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he's a blind dude. So he's, 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 a, he's a black dude who seems okay. Dude, you're gonna die. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he was the voice of Mufasa, and it was funny because they'd, uh, what they would do is they would, uh, take vo voice fit because it's the same voice and everything. Sure. And he's like, like, Darth Vader would be talking to Luke Kingdom. He's like, no! That's <laughs> impossible! <laughs> oh, is Mufasa his dad? Yeah! Oh, okay. For some reason I thought Mufasa... Uh, that's right, the bad guy's name was Simba. Scar. Oh! <laughs> Mufasa just oh, sounds yeah. like a bad name. No, Mufasa was the king, dude. Remember, he's like, ooh, just Look, saying the word Mufasa gives me shivers. He's like, Mufasa. He's like, ooh. For the record, I have not seen again. the Lion King. Mufasa. Ooh. God dang it. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. I hate Dark Nuts so much. But, um, no, yeah, James Earl Jones is coming back for... They're basically doing, like, a live action, kind of like they did with the, um... Jungle Book. Jungle Book. And, and Beauty and the Beast. Uh-huh. Um, but they're doing, like, full, like, CGI. But apparently they're going to be bringing back, like, all, like, the songs and everything. Like, Can't Wait to Be King. Like, all the famous ones that made mm -hmm. Lion King, like, one of... Um, but yeah, they're, they're bringing all that stuff back. And James Earl Jones is coming back as Mufasa. That's a big deal, dude. Also, uh, I think it was, it's either Danny or, or Donald Glover. He was in the he was in the new Star Wars. Mm, you say so? He's gonna be Simba. Okay. I, I just need you to know that I do not give a single crap about actors, their names and their careers. Like, well, like actors I, are cool and all, but like, I really hate it when people uh, talk to me like, "Hey, you know that guy?" And they, they drop like a name as if I'm supposed to know what it is, and I have no idea who they're talking about. Well, look at all the And dudes. then they're like, "Like, what's wrong with you?" What happened? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do? I what happened? Oh my god! This is dead. Oh my god, dude! I opened up the menu. Uh, no, no, no! Fuck. Let's see, when was the last time I saved? It's probably before I beat the last dungeon. No. Oh boy. Uh, well, it's uh, it's time for next time on Operation Pixel. I hate to end on a sour note, dude, but this is gonna this might suck. It might suck.